Yeah, it's it's a bombshell. Like if you look at the World War II film clips, you'll see women with carts of nothing but shell projectiles mm -hmm. forever, and they're standing at a lathe doing. And those work. are those are how thick is the wall on a shell? That's usually pretty thin. Isn't usually, it? in those days, they were lead with a copper jacket. Really. And they were pocketed for the explosive, but they still had to have the OD finished. Uh huh. To fit into the chamber. Uh huh. Yeah. And then. The in World War the early ones in World War One were just had a crude igniter and stuff that pushed in. World mm -hmm. War Two they were threaded. So the bombshell age you see for World War Two, it got two to three processes. Okay. I see. And all the stops are preset, so the women just click it in gear. Rosie yeah. the Riveter cranking out yeah. bombshells. And then she'll yeah. crank it back. And that's why they're short like this, and they were called a bombshell A for that purpose. But this one, the vintage it is, and as crude as it is, it was produced for World War I. Mm -hmm. it was. The war did, effort was a big reason why a lot of these machines exist, wouldn't you agree? This country moved forward more in mechanical history from the two world wars than it has anything else. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. It's where plastic came from, it's where the Phillips head screw came from. Is that right? Because thank they, God it did. <laughs> well, they, they were doing so many repetitive screws. They wanted to use a power tool, right? And they had all kind of screwdriver slot or straight slot blades with a sleeve around them, but screws mm -hmm. still tumbling. Mm -hmm. So some guy named Phillips said, "Wait a minute." Thank Every, God for him, man. I working with plastics yeah. computers. I mean, they had crude computers before because they had they had. Well, that was the uh, they had computers on the B twenty four Liberator bomber. Believe it or not, it was computer flown, but they, right? they were. Pretty crude, yeah. yeah. And they well, were, and the uh, cracking the code from the Enigma machine was uh -huh. basically where the modern the Enigma computer came machine from. Was basically that uh, what was the name of that thing your mom had with her key typewriter? My mom had one where you stuck the stylus in and pulled the rose number down. It was like a little mechanical abacus. Oh, what you know what I'm that? talking? I do. A I, flat thing. You've seen it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it looks like zippers on. Uh huh. That's basically an Enigma machine. Right. right there.